Russian troops have destroyed Ukrainian armed forces Su-25 aircraft with the use of Lancet-3 loitering munition in Dolgensevo airfield in the Dnipropetrovsk region, Russian Defense Ministry reported on Tuesday. In a post in its Telegram channel, the Defense Ministry stated that the aircraft was struck in the base of warplanes belonging to the Ukrainian armed forces, adding that the destruction of the aircraft is confirmed by objective monitoring footage. The ministry shared the footage of the destruction of Su-25 aircraft. This was not the first case of Russia striking a Ukrainian airfield in Dnipropetrovsk. On April 21, Russian armed forces struck MiG-29 fighter aircraft in an airfield in Dnipro City, the administrative center of Dnipropetrovsk region. During the attack, Russian forces also hit the Pelican all-round radar station and a workshop for the production of unmanned aerial vehicles, the Russian Defense Ministry reported. It should be noted that Ukraine's air defense units from Air Force Command East reported on Tuesday striking two incoming guided air missiles that the Russia had launched at Dnipropetrovsk region. The air defense stated that the struck missiles were likely the KH-59-69S. Earlier, Ukrainian media reported that a Russian artillery strike on the town of Nikopol in Dnipropetrovsk region left a local woman injured. China, Russia, Iran started a hybrid war against NATO, the alliance is facing serious threats. According to Western analysts and journalists of The Telegraph, the Third World War has already begun, but it is taking place in an unusual way. The publication notes that China, Russia, Iran, Turkey and Qatar started a war against NATO countries due to the spread of their own influence and disinformation. According to journalist Andrew Fox, for the first time since the end of the Second World War, a number of countries have united to redistribute the world. In particular, Fox notes that China is seeking dominance in the Pacific region and seeks to gain access to resources in Africa and Asia. Russia wants to regain control over the countries of the former USSR. Iran seeks to get rid of the influence of the US and its Western allies in the Middle East. Turkey and Qatar strive for dominance among the countries of the Arab world. Instead of armed war, we see intense strategic competition. No country can compete with the US and NATO on the battlefield, so instead our enemies are trying to defeat us by economic and cultural means without firing a single shot notes Fox. He emphasized that the NATO opponents of the NATO countries had been preparing for a confrontation for a long time. In particular, China extended its influence to more than 140 countries around the world through investments and in this way tried to establish control over 75% of the inhabitants of the planet. At the same time, Russia tried to undermine the unity of its Western partners by trying to influence elections in the United States, trying to divide political circles in Great Britain and driving European countries into dependence on their own gas supplies. Currently, Moscow is trying to undermine its opponents and destabilize pro-Western support in the Balkans and Central and Eastern Europe. Putin resorted to direct armed aggression against Georgia and Ukraine. In the criminal war launched by Russia against Ukraine, the Kremlin dictator is trying to demonstrate that he can wage a long and exhausting war. Meanwhile, Iran took advantage of the chaos in the Middle East to establish regional hegemony after the 2003 Iraq war. Tehran has created powerful and violent proxies in Yemen, Lebanon, Syria and Iraq. Ukraine and Israel give us a sense of the currents 
of influence operation that will overwhelm us if the situation escalates into an armed war. For more than a decade, our enemies have been using leverage, silenced weapons to fire the first shots in global conflict and we're only now noticing it. With all eyes on Normandy, the Third World War is closer than we think. We are already fighting it, emphasizes Andrew Fox.